My name is Colonel Jeff Pixley. I'm the commander of basic military training. Thank you for joining the United States Air Force. Thank you for raising your hand and promising to give of yourself, to sacrifice, to do something that most Americans never do. You probably want to know how to be successful in basic military training. Fight for yourself. Don't give up on yourself. And when you're about to, work with each other. Lean on each other because you'll be successful when you are a team. Remember why you are here. Remember those people that came before you. Everything that you do needs to come with a passion and a vigor that is unmatched. When you leave basic military training, you're going to understand how to wear the uniform. You're going to understand what it is to live by the core values, and you're going to know the value of your teammates. If you live up to my expectations, you'll be here seven weeks from today, and you'll be about to graduate. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the arrival of our official party. Please remain standing for the invocation given by Chaplain Lee. Good morning, everyone. As I pray according to my faith tradition, I encourage you to pray according to yours. Sovereign Lord, the maker and sustainer of all things, we thank you for the opportunity to celebrate a joyous occasion, graduation from basic military training. Every trainee here persevered and fought their way through. They have shown dedication and grit they have had a glimpse of what it means to be part of something bigger than themselves. Today, each trainee will swear an oath and be welcomed in as fellow airmen. As they take another step in their mission to fly, fight, and win, would you be by their side for Bless them in their comings and their goings. Protect them and guide their path. Strengthen them and give them courage. May each person of the 331st Training Squadron set an example of what it means to be an American airman leading the way. Watch over them. Every single step they take, every single day. We ask for your presence here in this place. In your mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Chaplain. Please be seated. Good morning, and welcome to today's basic military training graduation ceremony. We would like to introduce our distinguished guests, beginning with the host for today's ceremony. The Commander, Air Force Basic Military Training, Colonel Jeff Pixley, accompanied by his wife, Andrea. The Senior Enlisted Leader, Air Force Basic Military Training, Chief Master Sergeant Dan Anderson. The Reviewing Official, The Commander, 350th Spectrum Warfare Wing, Colonel Joshua Kozloff. The Senior Enlisted Leader, the Command Chief, 350th Spectrum Warfare Wing, Chief Master Sergeant David Southall II. From the Graduating Squadron, the Commander, 331st Training Squadron, Lieutenant Colonel Josh Hardy. The Senior Enlisted Leader, 331st Training Squadron, Chief Master Sergeant Tawana Hannibal. Accompanied by her fiancé, Chief Master Sergeant Tanika Brown. Also in attendance with us today, the Chief, National Workers' Compensation Unit, Federal Bureau of Prisons, Captain Thomas Lyles, accompanied by his wife, Wendy. The Deputy Commodore, Naval Special Warfare Group 1, Captain Matthew Peterson, accompanied by his wife, Patty. The Air University Reserve Advisor, Colonel Altresa Spencer, accompanied by her fiancé, Robert. 
the commander, 37th Training Wing, Colonel Lauren Corshane. The Command Chief, 37th Training Wing, Chief Master Sergeant Mike Morgan. Although time does not permit us to introduce all of our distinguished guests, the 737 Train Group is proud to welcome each of you. We hope you enjoy today's ceremony. Traditionally, the armed forces are expected to exemplify respect for the nation. Special ceremonies have been established to bestow honor upon the flag and other national symbols, upon recipients of awards and decorations and national dignitaries. Such ceremonies are usually included in parades, reviews, and similar formations in which large groups of military personnel participate. On special occasions and basic military training, the military training instructors assemble in a mass formation as a sign of recognition and respect. It is the highest honor the MTI Corps can bestow upon an individual. So today's MTI Mass has been formed to honor Chief Master Sergeant Tawana Hamill, who will retire on 1 August 2023. After 32 years of faithful and honorable service, 11 of those years were spent here at basic military training. Chief Master Sergeant Hamill was born and raised in Fayetteville, North Carolina. She entered active duty in 1990, and after basic training, she attended law enforcement technical training. She later retrained in the military equal opportunity career field in 1996. Chief Hannibal's tour as a military training instructor started in June of 2000, in which she held various key positions, such as the military drill and ceremonies NCO and section supervisor. After her four-year assignment, she transitioned to Maxwell Air Force Base, where she performed as a basic military indoctrination superintendent, operations flight superintendent, and officer training school superintendent. She later retrained into the paralegal career field in 2008. Chief Campbell returned to basic training in June of 2020, and today marks her final ceremony as the 331st Training Squadron Senior Enlisted Leader. Her more than 11 years of service Towards our Air Force basic military training has not only strengthened our infrastructure to operate the capacity we do today, but has made significant impacts on several thousand airmen across the total force, some of which have returned as military training instructors themselves.
ladies and gentlemen. Please stand for the playing of the national anthem. seven and a half weeks, the men and women before you have transformed from civilians and been motivated, disciplined warriors with the foundation to serve the most powerful military the world has ever known. Once they leave basic military training, they will continue on the technical training to learn the skills needed to perform in one of 118 specialties. They will then move on to serve at one of the 84 installations around the globe and work directly with our sister services. As they move on to technical training, they will continue to focus on adapting to military requirements, achieving occupational proficiency, and learning how to be highly productive members of the armed forces. These men and women will prepare for increased responsibilities and must ensure they are trained, qualified, and ready to deploy and operate in an expeditionary environment. These graduates are the future of our national defense and will pave the way for the generation that will follow. Excellence. 
The Commander's Excellent Streamer is awarded the Flight 352 for their significant accomplishments demonstrating teamwork, excellence, and esprit de corps during the period of 25 April 2023 to 15 June 2023. Signed, Jeffrey Pixley, Colonel, United States Air Force.
veterans and military members not in uniform may need to wear their salute or place their right hand over their heart. Once the flags are passed, we please be courteous to others and be seated in order to allow all of our guests the opportunity to view the flags as they pass and review. Six one, led by 
Staff Sergeant Richard Martin, Military Training Instructor, Hometown Fayetteville, North Carolina. These men and women are being led by enlisted leaders, and the mass commander is Master Sergeant Robert Davis, Master Military Training Instructor, 331st Training Squad, Hometown, Woodlands, Texas. Chief Master Sergeant Hannibal, in recognition of your contributions to the Air Force Basic Military Training and the United States Air Force, we salute you and thank you for your outstanding leadership and dedication to all airmen. We wish you and your family the best in your future endeavors and remind you that you will always be a part of the Air Force family. It has been an honor to serve with you and we bid you a fond farewell.
and friends of America for your support of our mission and the greatest air power the world has ever known. Your words of encouragement help motivate these graduates through seven and a half weeks of basic military training.
right hand and repeat after me. I state your name. I state your name. Do swear or affirm? Do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will obey the orders of the President of the United States. That I will obey the orders of the President of the United States. And the orders of the officers appointed over me. And the orders of the officers appointed over me. According to regulations and the Uniform Code of Military Justice. According to regulations and the Uniform Code of Military Justice. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you for the talk Please remain standing while our graduates recite the Airman's Creed and for the departure of the official party. I am an American Airman. I am a warrior. I have answered my nation's call.